There are three of us in the picture. One yeah. of them is WBA Super Featherweight Champion Lamont Roach Jr. Lamont, what's up, dude? How are you? I'm good, man. How you doing? I'm good. I'm good. Um, shout out to Jeff, who was completely incapable of telling me which way to move the camera. <laughs> but I think we've got this thing figured out. Um, Lamont, thank you for coming in studio with us. Of course, you got a big fight yeah, coming appreciate up. Appreciate it, brother. End uh, no of doubt. the month. So are you, is that two weeks out? No, that's no, this weekend. That's, that's this Friday, weekend. It's right. Friday. I'm a bad man. <laughs> oh, he's horrible. No. So I got to start uh, here. You have a, a title fight on Friday. When's the last time you had sex? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> My father watching this. <laughs> Aren't you <laughs> not supposed to for like a yeah. month? No, no, no. You're right. They yeah, for shut sure. it down sometimes. Do you? I do. Yeah, for sure. It's uh, it's more than a physical thing. It's uh, I mean, obviously it's physical, but um, it's more of a discipline thing too as well. Like you know, what I'm saying it keeps you on, keeps you on edge, keeps you sharp. But uh, when I go a while, it's discipline too. Yeah, no, it's just it's yeah. shut down. <laughs> but, <laughs> but but uh, physical advantages are like you know um, your testosterone levels and stuff like sure. that. So it right. gives you uh, you know the, the physical edge. So so you are now <laughs> five <laughs> days out from a title fight. Four four, four days bro. out. Four. He's horrible with numbers. Uh, I, I, I also think people <laughs> count <laughs> days differently, but that's a different conversation. So so trust if, me, if, I got if the days right. Monday, you go Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I believe. I believe Lamont knows. <laughs> uh, what is your training regimen like right now? Uh, so right now we're dialed back. Uh, um, right, I'm, I'm, just, I'm in shape. Like you I look like you're in shape. I ain't gonna lie. I'm, I'm in, I'm in blast. I'm in blast right now. But um, we're dialed back. Just keeping uh keeping the heart rate up. Because you know the hard work has already been done. Now we're toning it down and keeping keeping the weight down. Mm -hmm. um, I probably got like a pound or two more to lose, and that's about it. I'm like some people walk around like very much heavier than what they normally fight at. Mm -hmm. How much do you normally gain or have to lose? Uh, normally, I mean my normal walk around. Uh, if I'm in the gym, if I'm in the gym, <laughs> <laughs> it's probably like 148. All right. Um, 148 pounds, something around like. And then when you're in the ring, um, and when I'm, I mean, cause that's that's for me, that's good. All right. Uh, and that's like, cause like if I'm not, if I'm on vacation, I'm probably like 150 plus. So right. that's you know what I'm saying. But yeah. if I'm in the gym, you know, 18 pounds. I mean, uh, you know, 18 pounds a cut is nothing because I. Know so how you to lose fight weight. at 130. I fight at 130. Holy moly! Yeah. So is that? You they should go train with it one time, Jay. You <laughs> probably can get down what you want to get down to. Uh, yeah. Uh, they always, I always <laughs> see the right way. Yeah, trust me. You won't, won't feel like you, you know, you're killing yourself unless you're trying to nah, get just throw a low. bunch of zins in and skip dinner. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> that's not. That's not how you. Is do that it. not the right technique? Nope. Um. <laughs> how the hell do you cut 18 pounds? Just is that water how long? How long is it? Yeah. Oh, so as soon as I get the get the just that I'm about to fight. It's time to start cutting. So, like, uh, what do you eat or not eat? So, okay, my diet consists of uh, no fried foods for the most part. Um, What's your cheap food? I could hear it in your voice. <laughs> right, hold on, just wait, just wait, just wait. No fried foods. Uh, uh, as less beef, like less beef, beef as possible. Uh, literally, like minimal. Um, no fast foods. Uh, let's say. No, no fast food, <laughs> no fast food, and then I do fish, chicken, um, low carb stuff. Yeah. Like, say, if I want to do a, a wrap or anything like mm -hmm. that, like probably like a low carb wrap, veggies, or whatever the case may be. Veggies every, I try to get a veggie in every day, um, and I eat twice a day. I drink a gallon of water, uh, I drink a gallon of water a day, and my my um bedtime for my food is 8 p.m. so i can't eat after eight yeah all right um so kind of like an intermittent fasting type thing. yeah something like that yeah. well now, yeah. i imagine with the amount of working out you're doing exactly. like you, you could probably count the calories and know what you're burning and know what you're consuming yeah let's go through the timeline here because you won your belt back in november beating uh hector garcia right mm -hmm. um what is how has your life kind of changed since that moment or has it uh I don't, it hasn't really changed drastically. Um, I'm the champ, but you know what I'm saying? Like, it just feel like when it happened, it was just like a monumental moment. Like, it was just like, uh, I'm the champ, I'm the champ. Now it's like, all right, I'm the champ. I'm trying to be champ again, again, again. Uh, I want another belt. 
I want another belt. I want more money. Yeah. And uh, you know what I'm saying? Like it's so that's what I'm hungry, man. I got I got goals. So it's the love is it's hey champ because it's always been that because I've I've always mm-hmm. been a good boxer. But now it's just like solidified. Like I'm really the champion of the world. Mm-hmm. So um See, like you know, one thing I tell people thing. when you a lot of people think, oh, you become something and now you're relaxed. No, it gets harder at that point because you know people want to take you off, off your throne. Yeah, I got talking on my back. There you mm-hmm. go. Um, so we are joined in studio by Lamont Roach Jr., who is currently the World Boxing Association super featherweight champ. Uh, he's got a fight this Friday. I've learned the correct date and time. <laughs> Four this, days. This Friday at the Entertainment and Sports Arena in D.C. That's where the Mystics play, right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, in the yep. go-go? Okay. Um, you can get tickets now. Um, who's the dude you're fighting? Fergal McCrory? Fergal McCrory from Ireland. Yep. Those boys are tough. So I heard. Um, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, I've, I've heard stories about bar fights and yeah, stuff like yeah. that. You know, uh, but... Hey, you're gonna need a little bit more than just being tough to beat me. How do you do you like watch tape of your opponent? I'm, I'm asking this honestly. Like, what is the level of your preparation versus knowing his fight game? Yeah, from time to time. I mean, you just don't want to go in and find uh, like a fight blind. But uh, my dad usually handles that and, um, you know, come up with the game plan and we train according to the game plan. And um, you know, I might go like I've I've seen him fight. Obviously, mm-hmm. like if I'm if I'm on a long like bike workout, um, I probably pull up YouTube and seen him fight. I seen him fight a couple times, mm-hmm. and I know he's a tough guy. You know, head down. Uh, you know, want to come forward and you know try to impose his will. Um, and use pressure. Uh, but that that won't work. I mean, anything he brings not gonna work. But. How, how does that work? Like, you know, you say your your dad's your trainer, your manager, mm-hmm. your trainer. He's here so also. When you're sitting there and like you got y- your dad everyday life, and then now when he's the guy, how do you react to that? Uh like some, you hear some people they had their dad yeah, train yeah, them and yeah. they, they bump heads, but you know, right. I'm sure you and your dad have a, you know. So that's a so that's a big thing. Like uh honestly, like I all the time, like I commend him for that. Like my father knows how to separate being a dad and a coach. He doesn't really like bring the gym home when it's time to you know what I'm saying be a dad and yeah. that's been ever since he been involved in my boxing life which is as I was like you know what I'm saying he started coaching probably like a year or a year and a year or two after I started boxing mm-hmm. so um you know he he's always been good at separating me and a dad there and a, um Ooh. and a coach He's here. So let's ask him a question. Uh, Lamont Sr. is here. How, how old are you? You? I'm 28. 28. Lamont Sr., you you grew up in the fight business, right? As a, as a fighter, promoter, manager, all these things, trainer. When did you know your son had possibly it. the ability? Yeah, it. When, when he could be a world champ. It was early on with him because. Um, like how was, early? Six? I mean, yeah, I was, <laughs> I was 10, really. And when he won his first national, um, before that, when he was spawned, but he loved football. So it was kind of like getting him to the point to make him realize that you're not going to be so big for football, so you need to focus on football. <laughs> <laughs> it, still, it, still took, it still took till he was like 14. You know, he'd be number one in the country, and then he still won't play football until he got to high school and he seen how big the boys was turning that corner. <laughs> 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 nah, that ain't no, that ain't no lie. For real. <laughs> I was like, man, I'm still, I'm still losing weight, and they gaining weight. Yeah, yeah. What's it like for a father though to watch his son? And obviously, Lamont was very good, which probably made it a little easier. But to watch boxing, which is, I mean, at its core, barbaric. You know what I mean? And you, and you got a 10, 11, 12 year old out there. It's a sport. Yeah, <laughs> it's a sport. It's the hurt business. You got to know what you're tying up for. And you know, it's, it's still as a father, you see it, you be like, oh boy. We got to got him this day, oh, but you know, you ready for it. You would do the preparation and then knowing what you're getting into and knowing the skill level. He had made it like easier because we we won a lot more than we lost coming up. So, you know, he was always it, always it, on top. <laughs> it does help me. You ready for this? As as an amateur, Lamont was 125 and 16. Yeah, it, it was yeah, they, they were celebrating more often. <laughs> and now your, your pro record is 24, 1 and 1. So there's not a lot of like Sad times after yeah. fights. Yeah. Um, 
<laughs> so going into this thing, forgive me for not knowing this, right? Um, I imagine trying to unify the belts is a is the the dream, the goal, something like that. That's a big thing for me. How, how do you get there? And I know there's a lot of politics involved. Uh, uh, doing what we're doing now. Um, first off, capturing the title because how are you gonna unify if you don't have one? And then uh, like coming back home and making a name for myself. And I mean, even though I mean not making a name for myself, but solidifying uh my name as a champion at home, showing that I could sell, showing that I have a following and all that stuff um, brings more attractiveness to unification fight. Mm -hmm. And that's what I want to do. I want to fight the champions because one, I set out, like I said, I'm hungry. My goal is to be a unified world champ. So there's WBA, which you own, right? Mm -hmm. That's World Boxing Association? Yes. And then there's WBO, which is World Boxing Organization. Yeah. What's the third one? Uh, WBC and IBF. So it's four. International Boxing. Federation. Four of them. Damn. Are they owned by four different people right now, or does anybody have like two? Yep. Uh, no, they're owned by they're owned by four different people. Uh, Oshaki Foster is the WBC um, World Champ. He's from Houston, I think. Uh. uh, uh, uh Emmanuel Navarrete from Mexico is the WBO champ, and Anthony Kakachi is the IBF champ from Ireland. <laughs> <laughs> At least tell the American to give you the fight. What's up with Oshaki? We try. We try. And they just say no. Or and like, they, uh, everybody just dances. All right, look, I'm, I'm not going to say he said no because it's, it's like you said, it's a lot of politics and it's a lot of business. It's Cash. business. It's yeah. really the business. Sure. It's not like the politics. It's the business. Yeah, yeah. I get That's that. That's the stuff that get in the way. I get that. Um, I wanted to ask you something, though. So your amateur record speaks for itself. I mean, there's, there's a lot here to 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 look at. I, I know there's another young kid. I, I just looked him up. Um, Jamal Harvey uh -huh. is going to the Olympics. Do you yeah. know him? I do. I do um, know him. What, what do you think his chances? I, I don't know if you got... I mean, he's got to be younger than you, right? I yeah, mean, he's he is. A... He's probably like 21 right now or 22. But you have to be an amateur to go to the Olympics? Yes. Um, And then they have these special qualifications or whatever the case may be in some uh, boxing. And amateur boxing is kind of weird right now. But, <laughs> Seems uh, like most of Because some professionals can go to the Olympics. And some professionals are competing in the Olympics in other countries. Oh, not yeah. America doesn't But not Americans uh, this year. Um, not Because the last Olympics... They had professionals. Our our team had professionals, mm. which is kind of weird. Yeah. But did you ever make it? Because I see a bronze medal on here, but I don't know if that's Olympics or if there's like other so, games. Right? Oh, that was an international tournament that I had in uh, Ukraine and uh, that I got a bronze medal in. And so I was just on the cusp of being either too young uh, or like being just able to make it because they had like because somebody didn't qualify okay. for the olympics so i was i was real young i was like 17 wow going on i was 17 which going olympics on was it that was the 20 2016 20 2016 olympics greece maybe i don't know 2012 Wow. I could have went to the last chance qualified, but my dad ain't sent me because he said, "How the hell are you gonna go to <laughs> to to the to the tournament if uh if you just lost in this two year Olympics?" I remember he told me that I was mad as hell. <laughs> <laughs> he told me that. Sometimes he's got to be dad. Sometimes he's got to be the boss. Mad as I don't know what we gave we gave that out. championship away. So I'm like, yeah. but it, pushed you, it pushed you forward though, did it? Yeah, it did. But I, man, I couldn't. <laughs> what so, do you think about this kid Harvey? You yeah, think he's got a chance. In yes, Paris? I think I think I think he I think he wins a gold medal. He won the um, world championships, and um, he dominates. He dominates at that weight. And, um, What's his weight? One hundred twenty-five pounds. What is that called? Uh, featherweight. Oh, in, so you're a super pros. featherweight. So you're one up from that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, amateurs and professional have like uh, different weights. They have different weights. Gotcha. So your opponent coming up this uh, Friday, what is it about him that you're concerned about or you need to make sure you stop? Uh, I'm not concerned about anything. I'm just, uh, you know, to me, like, I, I look at all fights as, like, 
you know, they might not be. So I'm a better fighter than him, point blank, period. And if anybody watched boxing, they would know that. But in boxing, there's always the ability of just one punch. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So that's I always, that would never go, that would never leave my mind or anything like that. So it's like, you always got to be on your A game. You never can take anyone lightly because you never know that one punch might hit you. So uh, that's how I look at it. But I'm not concerned about anything. I'm, I'm sharp. I'm determined. I'm in, like I said, I'm in shape. I do everything I do to prepare myself uh, to go out there and dominate, no matter who the opponent is. Um, I'm I'm wondering if he's gonna try to just bull rush me or whatever the case may be and and pressure me because that's a style, mm-hmm. but that that ain't gonna work. That's gonna it's gonna be a bad night for him. <laughs> um, I want to go, man. Friday night at the Entertainment and Sports Arena, be in Italy, dog. That's true. Where, where <laughs> where's the coolest place you've traveled to as a boxer? As a boxer, you said Ukraine. I mean, that's got to be wild. I've been to yeah, I've been to Kiev, Ukraine, the, the capital of Ukraine, but I wasn't really the coolest. I probably I've been to, there right now. I've been uh yeah. I wouldn't probably know. <laughs> I would I would uh I've been to London. I've been to Mexico. I've been to Puerto Rico. I've been to uh uh uh. uh, uh what else I've been? To? Has Don King ever approached you with a bag of cash? Don King has never approached me with a bag of cash, but Don King. Probably sent a memo to my dad and say, hey, get some money. <laughs> send the memo to him for me. I, I, you I can fight? available for purchase. You can fight? No. no. Oh. <laughs> I, so, throw, I, throw, well, I don't know what I'm talking <laughs> about. I throw a mean club punch after about 15 beers. If you can't when, when I was Don, 18 talk to, to 24. Uh, uh, but 18 to 24. Now 42. 42. Okay. <laughs> Maybe we can get you in like a. Uh, uh, they have a retirement home for old washed up bar fights. They have they have like YouTube fighting. Nah, I'm good. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I'm too pretty for the fight game these days. I gotta stay out of this thing. You're a fool so, is what you are. Do you have a, a girlfriend, wife? You just single? Oh, I'm not single. No, I'm not single. I so I girlfriend. know what you're doing Saturday then. Oh man, <laughs> I'm having I'm having fun Friday Saturday. Night. I'm going... <laughs> <laughs> fried chicken, all the things you couldn't have for the last, oh, for the last couple of months. Everything, every oh yeah. Right. yeah. I'm going. To I'm be on vacation right after the final round of the fight. Where are you headed? Wherever I go is going to be vacation. Yeah, you're just uh, not so training. If I, as soon as we get in the locker room, I'm in I'm on vacation. <laughs> Good for you, man. Lamont, thank you for joining Popeyes. us, man. Yeah, Appreciate man. you, man. man thank Good you, luck man. Too, man. It's been a lot of fun. Good luck. And uh, keep us however we can help, man. We want a DC champ. Yeah, just uh, tell everybody to come to the fight. Go to the fights. Come to All the right. fight. Come uh, to the fight. Friday Ticket night. Master. Ticket Master. Yeah. Uh, you can go purchase tickets at the box office. Um, if you've never been to a boxing fight, t- Friday night is your night for sure. Go. Um, it's going to be a stack card. Uh, shout out to Pro Box TV. Shout out to No Excuse Promotions, aka my dad. You know, he got a lot of hats, man. He, he, he got <laughs> He's a real... currently wearing a commander. <laughs> he got a yeah. No Excuse shirt on too. Um, are, <laughs> if you love football. Your dad's wearing the commander's hat on. Uh, how excited are you for Jaden Daniels? I'm excited. I'm super excited. You know, you seen that picture of Jaden Daniels and Brandon Ayuk? I don't think they need to go get Ayuk. Why not? I don't think they want to give up the assets. I think if you were going to get that trade done, you get that trade done at the draft. Got a point. <laughs> Listen, you focus. You focus on Friday, all right? I'll focus on Ayuk. I'll text you. <laughs> I'll text you if something happens. Tell 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 McDaniel's to come to the fight. Um, Forbes, Emmanuel Forbes said he was coming to the fight. You better come to the fight if you see this. Um, uh, former former Commanders player, um, Chase Young. You told me you was coming to the fight. If you don't come to the fight, it's, you know, you're the a big dude. On but it. Come on, we can get in the ring. Um, How but, did you take on a dude like Chase, who's probably 150 pounds heavier than you? He can't fight for that long. <laughs> make, he can't fight make for him that long. Make him out the He's going to get tired. Yeah, he get a little tired. He's going to get tired. He'll bring his chin to you. I want to be clear <laughs> that I never want any part of you in a ring. I, I just whatever like disclaimer. I I want nothing to do with like just the way you made your fist, man. <laughs> yeah, show the stream just a little something while I move out of the way. Uh, show them okay. the speed work. I'm nah, always it's, that's the it's most impressive. Right. It's, 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 
It's in my in my blow the camera away. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Lamont, thank you, man. Thank you, for sure. Appreciate it. Thank you, guys.